Hello and welcome to the Monday, August 21st, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Over the weekend, we got a quick uh, malware analysis uh, from Xavier. Xavier uh, looked into a malicious email that claimed to come from Zalando. Zalando is a German clothing uh, shoe retailer. And, well, uh, this particular malicious email did include a zip file. Xavier is going over the deobfuscation of the included uh, code, which will somewhat predictable, download additional files to the system, which then in the end turn out to be a remote access tool, an older version of Net Support Manager. Virus total scores are reasonable, but not great, even though this is nothing really all that special. Five out of the 71 antivirus engines in VirusTotal are recognizing this particular file as malicious. Xavier also includes the domain name used by the command and control server. And popular Windows file compression utility WinRAR patched a vulnerability that could lead to arbitrary code execution. The vulnerability was reported via the Seraday initiative, a user by the handle of Goodbye. S. Lane, if I pronounce this correctly, has a report and found this vulnerability. This vulnerability is triggered by the processing of recovery volumes with WinRAR. Exploitation, of course, requires that a victim is opening a malicious file with WinRAR. Getting SPF records configured correctly isn't always easy, in particular if you're dealing with a very large domain where you have a large list of uh, mail senders in particular, where you are sort of delegating mail sending to other organizations and other domains. And as an example, what happens, well, apparently Hotmail this weekend had some issues with its uh, DNS SPF record. Uh, one uh, component that was including a large number of authorized mail ser- servers was uh, removed. And as a result, uh, many Hotmail users reported that uh, their email was marked as a spam. The issue was fixed uh, late on Friday, apparently. But of course, uh, with uh, DNS sometimes taking some time to propagate properly, Properly, there may be a delay in the fix actually being registered by various email recipients. And Sentinel Labs is reporting how apparently a certificate being used by the Singapore based VPN provider Ivaki VPN services is being used to sign a malware. This is a somewhat more sophisticated attack, even though it does apparently target the gambling sector, which may actually have a little bit more uh, financial motivation. It also uses DLL hijacking in Adobe Creative Cloud, Microsoft Edge, and then McAfee virus scan. But the DLLs are signed using that valid certificate, which of course makes them work. The end game here appears to be to deploy a cobalt strike beacon, which of course then gives the attacker full remote control over the victim's system. More details, including some of the domain names being used here, can be found in Sentinel Labs blog. The domain names are also kind of not that terrible, like 100helpchat.com, life 100 hape.com so uh, trying to kind of uh, fit in with legitimate life help 100 activity and the next major version of google chrome 117 uh, will include a new feature warning users if an extension they have installed is no longer available on the google uh, chrome store The idea behind this is uh, to make users aware of potentially uh, malicious extensions uh, being installed in the browser. Of course, uh, extensions sometimes are being removed uh, without uh, being malicious. So just a warning is being displayed and the extension is not automatically uh, removed. In Google Chrome 116, you will be able to optionally enable uh, this feature if uh, you want to test it, if you want to make sure that that it doesn't sort of give you a lot of false positives for your users. You may want to enable it uh, before it becomes the default setting in 117. 
And Juniper updated a number of its products. Sadly, no real uh, details here because it's all behind Juniper's support portal. But apparently there are a number of vulnerabilities with a CVSS rating of 9.8. Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening. We'd like to thank Gephardt for actually uh, sending a couple of good links here with uh, stories. If you do see anything that I missed, any sources, any uh, new sites or so that uh, I should include as I'm scanning for new things, please let me know. Uh, thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.